So in the early 90s, there were lots of, um, of adverts based around Thunderbirds, Captain Scarlet, Stingray, because they were being shown on BBC Two, they were very popular. So there was a Weetabix ad using um, Stingray characters. Oh, yes. I think Titan took delivery of some toys that were free with Weetabix. Uh-huh. Um, there was a Pizza Hut advert featuring Captain Scarlet. Oh, yeah. They all weirdly said, hit the hut and pointed uh-huh. in an awkward way. Uh-huh. Um, there was a Thunderbird Swinton advert. Anyway, so there was a lot, a lot of recreation going on at the time. Yeah. So here is the fact that ties in with that. That time. Much of the 1990s reconstruction work of the Super, Super Marination puppets took place in a small shed nestling in the shadow of the 007 stage at Pinewood Studios in Buckinghamshire. Ah. Now, I have mentioned this before. Yes. It was called Shed 11. Mm-hmm. Sadly, no longer there, but it was right next to the giant Bond stage. I mean, I don't yeah. know how many Bond stages ago that was because of the fires and yeah. various things there. Yeah. But this huge epic thing with 007 on the front and down, yeah, nestled, like I said, in its shadow was this little <laughs> rickety old single-storey wooden shed. Yeah, great. And when I say shed, it was probably, oh, I don't know, four metres wide and about 25 metres long. Right, yes. And in there would be uh, Christine Glanville, um, Richard Gregory, uh, Mark Harris. Yeah. Uh, you know, a, a, a whole bunch of experts... Uh, who are either very sadly no longer with us yeah. uh, or are doing amazing things. You know, uh, Mark Harris has been art director on a load of the Star Wars things and Dumbo that's been out recently. And, you know, they've oh. gone on to do amazing things. And in th- there they were, camped out, making the most amazing recreations. Incredible. There was a, there was a, a recreation of the Thunderbird 1 launch bay that I remember Richard working on. Um, Christine did the most beautiful Scott Tracy and an an amazing Titan from Stingray. Uh, And Mark Harris was there making a Tracy Island, full-scale Tracy Island build from Paul Styron using a hot wire. Um, Right. And it was just, it was like a a treasure trove of amazing stuff going on. And that, that was where I kind of really got into and got excited by uh, the industry and seeing people make stuff. 